The state of Texas ain't fooling around no more when it comes to illegal immigration. Texas officials have begun employing a new method that is effectively halting attempts at illegally crossing the border. Texas Governor Greg Abbott has begun installing a marine barrier installation along the Rio Grande. The barrier consists of orange buoys with webbing to prevent people from swimming underneath it. Texas officials are arguing that this unique solution is saving lives and discouraging migrants from crossing the border. It's a rather, frankly, ingenious move, and it's all part of what's called Operation Lone Star, which seeks to combat the surge in smuggling activities at the border as a result of Bumbling Biden's deliberate abdication of his law enforcement responsibilities. And, of course, we're talking, you know, the smuggling of both people and drugs, right? The human trafficking is just as bad, if not worse, than the drug trafficking, and we're all seeing that so vividly in the latest box office smash, The Sound of Freedom. According to El Paso News outlet K Fox 14, Operation Lone Star integrates the Department of Public Safety with the Texas National Guard and deploys air, ground, marine, and tactical border security assets to high threat areas to deny Mexican cartels and other smugglers the ability to move drugs and people into Texas. We feature in this channel our good friend Dave Munson. He's a member of the border militia group known as Patriots for America. They work side by side with Border Patrol and the stories he shared with our Courageous Patriot Insiders Club were absolutely riveting and harrowing. By the way, you can join our Courageous Patriots Insiders Club by clicking on the link below. We have live meetings together every Monday night. You're going to absolutely love it. But Patriots for America are just one of a number of border militias who are aiding Texas officials in serving as a deterrence against illegal border crossings in high areas of traffic. And again, it's all part of Texas Patriots standing up and standing in the gap deliberately left by the bumbling Biden White House and actually doing what the job that they, the White House, are constitutionally bound to do. And so as part of that, Four additional counties in Texas have now officially declared an invasion at the southern border and voiced their support for Governor Abbott's Operation Lone Star. Now, if you're not familiar with what they're doing there, Article 1, Section 10, Clause 3 of the U.S. Constitution gives the right to every state to declare war if they are actually invaded or in imminent danger. It's an inherent part of the separation of powers. States do not need Congress's approval. It doesn't even have to be an army invading them. Some of the founding fathers, like James Madison, explicitly stated that Article 1, Section 10 can be invoked against smugglers. Madison specifically cited Virginia using its militia to stop smugglers as an example of a valid exercise of the invasion powers. Again, the principle is simply that of state sovereignty. If the sovereignty of a state is violated, That state has the right to declare war on an individual basis without congressional approval. So this is what, in effect, Operation Lone Star is. It's a state of Texas. It's the state of Texas officially declaring an invasion and taking the appropriate steps to quell it. And so now we've got four more counties on board with this. So while over 50 counties in Texas have issued disaster declarations citing the border crisis, These declarations of invasion are openly recognizing the legal authority of Governor Abbott to secure the border, given Biden's deliberate incompetence. So now Texas has a total of 46 counties that have officially declared an invasion. But wait until you see how the Democrats are reacting to this. This is going to absolutely make your day. And if you think Democrats are freaking out over this, what do you think they're going to say to this? I'll be back. No, 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 no. It's not that he will be back, gang. He is back. It's time to celebrate the great return by clicking on that link below and getting your very own Trumpinator 2024 bobblehead in preparation for Donald Trump's glorious reascendance to the United States presidency. As you can see, I've got mine. He hangs out with me on my desk here. I absolutely love him. This collectible bobblehead from Proud Patriots is made with the highest quality material and really is a must-have for any Trump fan who wants to send some energy towards what's shaping up to be the most glorious political comeback in history. Now, don't wait. There are just a limited number of these collectibles, and you don't want to be caught paying way more later on on eBay from someone who bought it now So whatever you do, don't wait. Click on that link below right now 
and show your support for Trump 2024 today. The ultra loser Beto O'Rourke was one of the first to denounce Operation Lone Star. He's calling on bumbling Biden to, quote, stop Governor Abbott from deploying razor wire and medieval drowning devices designed to ensnare and mutilate. Stop every illegal thing he's doing on the border that ends up killing human beings. Mr. President, we need you to act. Can you believe this? Stop every illegal thing on the border? Is O'Rourke even listening to himself? Stop every illegal thing on the border except the actual illegal thing. Again, Jordan Peterson's absolutely right. The culture wars today are very different than they were in the 1990s. In the 90s, during the Clinton era, the culture wars were a contestation over differing values and opinions surrounding moral issues. Today, by contrast, the culture wars are happening because one side has gone absolutely insane. One side, the left, tries to champion women's rights all the while openly admitting they have no idea what a woman is. I mean, the left has gone insane. Here, here you've got a perfect example of that. Here you've got an ultra-political loser, a left-wing loser, calling on Biden to stop all Ill illegal activity at the border for the one exception, the only illegal activity at the border. I mean, these people are literally insane. And speaking of insane, here's the legacy media doing their part. The trooper who sent this email to their superior claims that they are being asked to push small children and nursing babies back into the Rio Grande and being ordered to refuse water to migrants even in the extreme heat. This was all detailed in an email obtained by our partners at the Houston Chronicle from a confidential source with knowledge of border operations. The trooper sent this message to push for a series of rigorous policy changes, including revoking these directives and removing the buoys place along the Rio Grande. You may remember last week, Governor Greg Abbott called for the installation of razor wire wrapped buoys in the river. The trooper detailed several incidents of concern about migrant safety near Eagle Pass, including a four-year-old girl who passed out from heat exhaustion after she was pushed back by the Texas National Guard, a pregnant woman who had a miscarriage after being stuck in the wires, and a teenage boy who broke his leg trying to navigate the water around the wire. Now, keep in mind, this is the same legacy media that's doing absolutely everything they possibly can to discourage you from seeing Sound of Freedom. They don't give a rip about these kids. What you're seeing there is the very same insanity you're seeing from nuts like Beto O'Rourke. Let's call everything illegal and immoral except for the very thing that is actually illegal and immoral. Let's point fingers at all atrocities except for the real atrocity. This is why woke liberalism is collapsing, gang. It's collapsing under the weight of its own contradictory absurdities. Thank God for Texas officials who've thus far valiantly resisted the woke mind virus and for the sanity and humanity of Operation Lone Star. Hey, gang, I know what it's like to feel alone out there in these turbulent times, but I broke free. If you, too, have been looking for a community with like-minded patriots who are serious about resisting globalism, building a parallel economy, and having intelligent and deep fellowship on a regular basis, then you've come to the right place. In my Courageous Patriot Insiders community, we're building a close-knit movement of, by, and for patriots who are breaking free from the outrage and despair cycles of the mainstream media and taking on the fight against globalism. Every week, I deep dive into the content I can't share on big tech and give you the cliff notes on the truth of how patriots just like you are building up their communities, starting patriot businesses, and fighting the woke in both public and private all with a few history and political lessons from yours truly, of course. If you want to stop feeling alone as a patriot and stand together with this fast-growing community, be sure to click on the link in the description below. Don't wait. Join me and my patriot coalition today, and let's get fighting.